In this video, I'm going to be repairing this 17-inch mid-2009 MacBook Pro logic board. Now this machine has an issue where basically you plug it in and the green light comes on as you can see. However, the board just will not power on whatsoever. Um, you can see the power on pads down here. And if I try to short them out with a flathead screwdriver tip, it still does absolutely nothing as you can see. So I think I know what the issue is with this already because I've dealt with boards that have done this exact same thing. And that is a failing capacitor uh, on one of the main CPU, or I think it's the MCP power rail. I can't remember exactly, but I'll check that in the schematic and show you what I mean. Uh, but basically all that happens is that capacitor goes bad because it is under uh, a lot of stress in the portion of the circuit where it's in place. And sometimes they can just go bad over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find that capacitor, check it, see if it's bad, and you can usually check that just by measuring the voltage on it. If it's the proper 1.8 volts, I think it is, uh, then it is good. If it's less than that, then that capacitor more than likely is bad. So I'm going to get out the schematic real fast, and we're going to take a look, find where that capacitor is, test it, and hopefully that will be the issue, and we will replace it, and that should get this board fully functional again. So I'll be right back. All right, so I actually couldn't manage to find a schematic for this board. Uh, however, luckily on the 17-inch machines, the components are actually labeled on the board. And uh, just by looking around, I found that the culprit capacitor, that I think might be bad, C7771, is located right here. So now I can just go ahead and connect some power to the board, uh, measure that cap, and see if we're getting the proper uh, voltage, which should be about 1.8. So let me connect power to it here. All right, the green light is on. Got the multimeter here. Let me see if I can get that in view. All right, so that's in view pretty well. So now we'll go ahead and put a probe on the ground and hook one probe up to the positive on that capacitor. And as you can see, we are not getting 1.8 volts, but rather one or 0.3 volts. And uh, that indicates that that capacitor is more than likely the problem. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and get that capacitor off of another logic board. And there are tons of those 330 microfarad capacitors on any board. So I'll just pull one of those off, unsolder this one, solder a new one on, and it should be good to go. So, let me go ahead and get another board out here, find a capacitor that I can desolder as a suitable replacement, and then we'll get started. So I'll be right back. All right, so I found a suitable replacement capacitor on this 2009 uh, 15 inch logic board. You can see it's right there. This board is dead, uh, definitely beyond repair, uh, but we've got a capacitor we can use right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some flux to that, and then we'll go ahead and desolder it. Okay. There we go. All right, so the capacitor has now been removed. So now what we can do is go ahead and get the 17 inch board back up here and solder that capacitor on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real fast here.
All right, so you can see the capacitor we're trying to move right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some flux to this and heat it up and remove it. All right, so there we go, it came off as you can see. So now we'll go ahead and take the new capacitor and solder it on. Actually, let me add a little bit of flux to that real fast. All right, so that looks like it's soldered on pretty well there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook the board back up to power and see if that fixed the problem. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll resume the video. All right, so you can see I've got the board here uh, ready to be hooked up to power with a fan plugged in. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, as you can see, the machine is plugged in here. So now, let's go ahead and take uh, this little flathead thing and short the power pads. Let me make sure you can see that there. Power pads are right here next to this RAM slot. Just right there. So go ahead and short them out here and see if the machine turns on. And look at that. The machine is now on. You can see the fan is spinning and it is running up to full speed because it's hot still. But uh, yeah, the machine looks to be working now. So now what I'll go ahead and do is uh, reassemble the machine back in its chassis and we'll go ahead and power it up again and see if the entire machine turns on and boots up. So I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I've gotten the machine assembled enough to perform a quick test. You can see that the machine is plugged in right there. So now what I'll go ahead and do is press the power button and see if it turns on. I heard it, something turn on, so I think it's working. And look at that. The machine is now fully functional and it is, appears to be uh, booting off of its internal SSD right now. So um, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this machine fully back together and repaste it and clean it out and uh, then this machine will be uh, ready to go. So I will be right back once I get that done. All right, so you can see that I've gotten the machine fully reassembled. And uh, before I turn it on, I forgot to mention that this is, isn't is my machine. I actually, uh, somebody actually sent this to me to repair. Uh, and as you can see, I've already done that. So uh, now that I've gotten it put back together, I'll go ahead and turn on the machine and show you that it works. You can see that it turns on immediately after pressing the power button and uh, the machine will now start to boot up off of its internal SSD.
All right, so as you can see, it is booted, and I'm going to go ahead and log into their guest user account here and uh, show you that it is indeed fully functional. And you can see that it is running uh, OS X El Capitan, and uh, yeah, the machine is functioning perfectly normally. So that has been the repair of this 17-inch mid-2009, actually before I in this video. Let me go ahead and show you uh, the specs of it right there. So you can see that this machine has a 3.06 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo CPU. Uh, they've installed 8 gigs of memory and uh, it has NVIDIA GeForce 9400M uh, integrated graphics and it also has uh, the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 9600M GT dedicated video card. So that has been the repair of this 2009 17-inch Apple MacBook Pro. Um, go ahead and shut it down, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.